Rivers are the arteries of the planet, and they are quickly changing and vanishing. I'm standing in, in basically the middle of the Rio Grande, which historically I would have been standing underwater. Depending on spring flows, it could have been 10 feet above me. I'm Pete McBride, and I'm a National Geographic photographer and filmmaker and freshwater conservationist. I'm using my lenses to try to show the impacts we've had on our natural water systems. The Rio Grande has lost its natural historic flows and it runs almost completely dry in places like this right here called the Forgotten Reach. On the Colorado River system, we're in our second decade of drought. It's the driest it's been in 1,200 years. We've all taken our access to fresh water for granted. Now there's even a monument been placed at the bottom of a lake in Texas. It's called the Hopeful Monument, and the hope is that no one will ever see it because this will only be revealed if water levels drop too low. It's an effort from Finnish dishwashing to raise awareness of the crisis affecting freshwater resources everywhere. Water systems are getting stressed, dam diverted, challenged, strained, reused, overused. The Rio Grande, Colorado, all the tributaries that feed these rivers, and it's happening throughout the globe. While issues surrounding water usage are undeniably complex and involve many stakeholders, there's some small everyday actions we as consumers can take, such as not pre-rinsing our dishes before putting them in the dishwasher and turning off running water. Because at the end of the day, water does not come from the tap, food does not come from the grocery store. Water comes from rivers and lakes, food comes from the fields that this water system supports. We need to find greater efficiencies for everything we do. The first step of solving this crisis is becoming aware of it. Our lakes and rivers are the lifeblood of our planet.